People planning their careers often ask me what I think about the long-term future of the Islamic finance industry. And sometimes policymakers ask me whether this is simply a flash in the pan and the industry, is it going to go away? I think the best way to answer that question is first of all by looking at the industry as it is today. Worldwide, Sharia compliant financial assets are about seven or eight hundred billion dollars. Now that's a lot of money. But at the same time, we need to recognize that that is less than 1% of total worldwide financial assets. So more than 99% of financial assets worldwide at the moment are conventional assets, not Sharia compliant. Compare that with the population where between 20 and 25% of the world's people are Muslims. And that gives you a very big paradox less than 1% of financial assets compared to maybe 25% of the world's people. Why the big difference? Well, there are two reasons. First of all, Muslims on average are poorer than non-Muslims. We have Western Europe, we have North America, we have Japan, major economies, high income per capita, relatively few Muslims. Compare that with countries like Indonesia, Bangladesh, Pakistan, some of the countries in Africa where you have large numbers of people and relatively low incomes per head. So one reason for the difference is simply lack of financial wealth in the Muslim world as a whole. The second reason is that historically most Muslims have been happy to conduct their financial transactions without having Sharia compliant finance. Both of those trends are changing. All around the world more and more countries are following what I would regard as sensible pro-growth, pro-business economic policies, liberalizing their economies, improving investment in education so that there is more economic growth in the Muslim world. And gradually I forecast that the Muslim world will start to catch up with Europe, North America, Japan in terms of income per capita. It may take decades to achieve but it's a very long-term trend which I see continuing. Secondly, there's a greater desire for religious observance in the Muslim world. More and more people want their financial transactions to be Sharia compliant. If we look at Indonesia, a few years ago, less than 1% of banking in Indonesia was Sharia compliant. I was there in March of this year, and at that stage it was reported that about 5% of the Indonesian banking system is now Sharia compliant. While that means that 95% is still conventional, 5% is a great deal more than the 1% that applied only two or three years ago. In my view, the industry is in a long-term growth trend as that figure of less than 1% of global financial assets moves towards the 25% of world population number. It may never get there exactly, but if less than 1% becomes double digits over one or two decades, that is an enormous amount of growth, an enormous number of job opportunities. Therefore, for people planning their careers, entering the Islamic finance industry today looks like an outstanding long-term decision.